Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So many people know about the Walter Scott case is a case that I have discussed on my channel on several occasions. But for those people who are not familiar, I want to just provide some background information. You had an African-American man by the name of Walter Scott. He was stopped by the North Charleston, South Carolina Police Department because one of his taillights on his car wasn't working properly. So this officer, Michael Slager, stops this brother, you know, asked him for his ID and asked him several questions. And then the officer goes back to his vehicle to verify the information. And eventually, Walter Scott opens his car door and he runs from the police officer. He runs from the police officer because he owes outstanding child support and more likely than not, he's fearful that the police will arrest him because of that outstanding child support. So this brother is unarmed. He runs from the officer. He's quite some distance away from this officer. And this officer proceeds to take out his gun and shoot this brother in the back eight times, killing him. And then after killing him, this officer stages the scene to make it appear as if he was acting in self-defense. Now, this whole incident was captured on videotape. A citizen happened to be there and he captured it on his cell phone video camera. And it was later released to the public and we all saw what happened. For those of you who haven't seen it, I will post a link in the description box so that you can see this crime for yourself. But prior to the release of this videotape, the police department bought into Michael Slager's story. They bought into it. And that raises a serious question. But I'm going to get to that a little bit later. So... After the videotape was released and all that kind of stuff, this officer was charged with this brutal crime of second degree murder. And the case went to trial on the state level. And the case was declared a mistrial. You know, they, the jury was unable to reach a verdict, which is unimaginable to me. It's unimaginable that a jury would not be able to reach a verdict where you have a clear case of murder. You have this brother running away from the cops. He doesn't have a weapon. He is not posing any kind of threat to this officer. And this officer proceeded to shoot and kill this brother. But yet some of those jurors somehow, some way, they couldn't figure it out. Somehow, some way, they didn't see that as murder. And that just tells you how some of these people, they simply do not value black lives. They value a dog's life more than they value a black man's life. So there was a mistrial on the state level. The case um, eventually went to federal court as well. The federal charges were filed against him for violating Walter Scott's civil rights. Eventually, that officer pled guilty to civil rights violations. And recently, we had the sentencing hearing. And the court decided to sentence this killer, Michael Slager, to... 20 years in prison. And that's a victory for the Walter Scott family. It's a victory for the social justice movement because such sentences are rare when it comes to police. You know, often police can kill black people and get away with it. They're not even brought before the court. They're not even tried or they're not even charged. And then when they are in fact charged, often they get away with it. Often they're found not guilty because the system protects its own most of the time. That's what happens. So this is a, a major victory. You know, even though it's not a life sentence, it is still a substantial sentence. And it is a, a, a great thing for civil rights. And speaking of uh, these police officers getting away with murder, I mean, recently you had a police officer who killed a white man, you know, this white man was in a hotel, you know, this officer told this white man to get on the ground. He told this white man to crawl before him. And then this, the, the white man was crawling before this white police officer. And the white man, apparently his pants were coming down and I don't remember the man's name. I'll post the link in the description box with um, the information about the story. But as he's crawling, his pants start to come down and he tries to pull him up 
And this officer assumes that he's reaching for a gun and this officer opens fire on this guy with an assault rifle, killing him. And the officer was found not guilty in that case because they bought the officer's story. He said that he thought he was reaching for a gun and stuff like that. So that just brings home the point that it is often very difficult to convict these officers. So this is a great thing that this officer, Michael Slager, was in fact convicted. Now, this makes me think about a couple of things. Number one, it is a blessing that they had that videotape of this officer, Michael Slager, killing Walter Scott, because without it, it would be unlikely that this man would have faced any time or any charges at all. Because often what happens is they believe the police automatically. They believe and assume that the police are credible when they tell these stories about what happened. When they make up these stories trying to justify the killing of black people. All they have to say are the magic words, I fear for my safety, I thought he was reaching for my gun, or I thought he had a gun. And that's a license. That gives them a license to kill black people and to kill other people as well. So it is a blessing that the family was able to recover a videotape of this whole incident. And, you know, citizens like Mr. Uh, Santana, who captured this video, they deserve respect. They deserve to be commended for their, their courage. It took courage for that man to stand there and record that incident. And I encourage the public to record any police interactions that you observe. As long as you are a reasonable distance away and it is clear that you don't pose a threat, you should record any police interaction that you observe. We have to be the ones to police these police. Otherwise, they can do whatever they want and take our lives with impunity. So that's just very important. So I want to hear from y'all. What do y'all think about this situation? You know, I think it's a major victory and, you know, I just hope that this is used in such a way that it helps reform the police around the country. It helps put them on notice that if they kill people, then they will be held accountable. But who knows? Tell me what you think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace. <laughs>